Welcome back everybody. We're here for another one in my time-lapse model build series and this one will be covering my Tamiya A6M50 in 148 scale. Uh, so I'll get the box art up here so you can see what it is and uh, I did build this one using everything out of the box. There's no aftermarket um, a parts of any type used on this kit. Uh, so on that note, uh, let's get watching. My name is Sean and this is Sean's Aviation. And just before we get into the video, um, something I should have been doing a lot more up till now, and that is just asking you guys out there, if you enjoy what you're looking at, if you are if you like what I'm doing, go down below, uh, click on the, the like page, subscribe to my, my channel, and uh, by all means, please click on that little notification bell. If uh, that way you guys get, uh, uh, get alerted when I do get more new content up. I usually try to do the what's on my desk uh, monthly update beginning of the month. And I usually try to get a video or a series of videos released um, by the 15th, the middle of the month. So whether that's going to be a uh, tips and tricks video or an aviation history video or my time lapse videos of the previous model builds that I've got done or uh, an air show video or, you know, um, some of my new product review videos I'll be doing. So I'm going to try to get something posted uh, by the middle of the month. So uh, please, if you're enjoying this, subscribe, like and click that notification bell. Let's move on to the video. So as always with these uh, aircraft models, uh, in most cases anyways, construction did start with the cockpit. Um, and I'm always a big fan of these uh, these Japanese aircraft because they do get to be painted in that really funky metallic-y blue color. Um, you don't really see that in any other aircraft. So I don't know why I like that color so much, but I do. So I always enjoy when I get to uh, build these Japanese aircraft and paint it up with those colors.
folks. It is um, sort of a mid-cockpit, mid-build update here on the Zero. Um, I have uh, quite a bit of work done on it. Um, you'll see I've got uh, so the cockpit itself all is uh, pretty much finished. Um, you see the instrument panels decal, the side panel here. The side panel here is also a decal and then everything else is installed. I painted everything with that metallic blue, give everything a black wash and then a, a quick hit with the dry brush. You don't notice it as much on this blue uh, because it's already sort of a light shiny color so the lighter corners don't really show up that great but it's just enough to give it a little bit of depth. I'm not going to do anything to this in terms of flat coat. I want this to keep this sort of metallic sheen so I'm going to leave it um, the way it is. Um, the seat, same deal. It's got the, the green with the, uh, the sort of metallic blue with the black wash. I'm probably going to do seat belts just to me a tape seat belts at a later stage. I'm going to glue the seat in at the very end of everything because the cockpit will be open. So I'll do some seat belts later on that and, and uh, get that assembled. The fuselage, the fuselage is glued together already. Uh, I, I give the seams a quick hit. Uh, might probably have to do some more final sanding at the end, but uh, at least the main uh, fuselage has been assembled. I, uh, it's all painted inside. Um, it's a little hard to see now with the masking, but the upper deck area here around the cockpit gets painted black. So I've masked off the opening and I've installed the uh, headrest and the uh, DF loop. So all of this will get hit with some black paint. And then uh, when I install the cockpit, it will get hit with black paint around all of the masked frames and then the fuselage color afterwards and we'll clean up all of the edges. Uh, so this is just in prep for that black, uh, black paint. So that's what it looks like right now. So uh, stay tuned, we'll keep going on this. We'll get some more uh, uh, work done on it. Uh, the next step, as I said, is painting this area black and then gluing the cockpit in place and then doing some final assembly. From here on out, this plane's gonna go together relatively quick. Um, there's not much to it. Uh, most of the work is gonna go into weathering. I'm gonna do a lot of uh, salt technique on this. So some paint some silver, lay down some, uh, some salt and then uh, paint the upper color and then wipe the salt off and you'll get that chipped paint look. So this is gonna take a bit of effort on painting to get that done. Uh, but other than that, the build itself should be pretty quick. So stay tuned uh, and you'll see some more progress. I'll touch in again here with this a bit of a, a catch up, hopefully just before I start the paint. So here I start masking up the uh, the canopies uh, and getting preparation to paint the um, 
uh, the final camo scheme on this and uh, you'll notice I don't uh, mask with the uh, main canopy I do the forward windscreen and the rear half of the canopy and then I mask the opening uh, for the canopy uh, just using some tape and some Kleenex to uh, to paint around that and then I painted the canopy uh, later on in the build um, and it just allows me to make sure there's no, no uh, air uh, getting past that canopy and, and getting any type of uh, overspray inside the cockpit. Quick update on the Zero. It, um, as um, hopefully if you guys have been watching um, up till now, you'll have seen it is assembled and it is primed. Uh, the primer did have a few little kind of spurts on it. I had to clean it up as I was uh, doing this, so it's not a perfect paint job. But I mean, I also want a bit of variation in the color, so it. Uh, I'm you know so far I'm happy with how it turned out. But I got all of the seams. This seam under here, which I was worried about. The side seams are cleaned up. The, the fuselage joint, I'm not too, too worried about, but it is done. Um, so the next steps for this uh, really is going to be the final, the final painting. Um, so you can see how the cowling is supposed to fit. So I'm also missing parts of the, uh, the exhaust system, which haven't been installed yet. So all of that will be put together. Uh, a little later, but that is basically how it's going to fit. I painted the, the cowling black already, uh, but I am going to do a little bit of weathering across the top half. Um, I'm going to mask off and I'm going to spray paint. Uh, the, when I do the, the silver, uh, I'm going to do a lot of chipping. So the next step on this, I'll, I'll go through this in a little bit. The next step, I'm going to paint the wings and the horizontal stabs silver. And then after that, I'm going to add um, a bit of salt, so you add a bit of water, sprinkle the salt, let it dry, and then you paint the green. And then once the green is dry, you wipe the salt off, and it leaves all of the chipping across the top of the, um, of the wing, and it looks like the paint is just chipping off, and with the silver underneath, it'll look like it's chipping off, and you'll see the bare aluminum wing. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. So the wings, especially in this root area, it's going to be heavily, it's going to start somewhere out here. And as it comes in, it's going to get worse and worse and worse and just all be, especially here that we've got on the wings to fill the ammo. So all of this will just be all chipped out. Uh, it just look like all kinds of paint has just been flaking off and chipping off as boot scratches and stuff wear it down. I'm not going to do so much out here. It's going to be mostly in this inner wing area and then a little tiny bit on the edge of the tail uh, just where we get beat up. The fuselage back here, I'm not going to do anything. The forward nose section, I'm not going to do anything. It's going to be pretty heavily weathered with exhaust. However, what I want to do is with this forward cowling, I want to weather half of it. I want to look like part of the cowlings are a placement cowling and the other part is an older cowling. So what I'm going to do is there's a seam line here across the edge. I'm going to mask off that seam line. I'm going to paint the top half silver and I'm going to paint it with a slightly lightened black, almost a dark uh, a dark gray. So the bottom part is black black. I'm probably going to use a tire black, 
which is sort of a dark gray across the top. Uh, maybe I'll just lighten the, I don't know, I have to figure it out yet. I, I might just end up lightening the, um, the black just a hair and just spray painting over top of that with the lightened, uh, the lightened color black. And then with the salt chipping, it'll chip the upper cowling, but then the bottom cowling is going to look brand new. And I think it's going to be an interesting look. Almost like, you know, the bottom cowling got damaged and they just, you know, slapped on a brand new, freshly painted out of overhaul piece and then kept flying the plane. So I'm going, or vice versa, they replaced the upper half with one from another plane. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. So I'll get that done in a little bit. And then the cowlings, uh, the cow flaps, I'm going to paint the same dark gray that I painted uh, the upper cowling. So the upper cowling and the cow flaps are all going to match. And then that lower cowling will be a completely different color black. And I think that variation with all of the chipping is going to make this thing look amazing. So this is basically ready for its final coat of paint. Uh, so I just got, like I said, paint the wings silver, uh, salt. So wings, top of this cowling, tail, salt, uh, silver. And then I'll go through with the salt technique and whether the bottom of the wings isn't going to be as chipped as the top. Um, I might just do a little tiny bit in the inner part. Um, in here uh, with the salt chipping and then after that I'm going to just you know heavily heavily focus on the top with the wings a little bit on the tail so it's going to be an interesting look I might even do the bottom I might not even salt weather you know what I officially made up my mind I'm not going to salt weather the bottom I'm just going to do a whole bunch of oil leaks and exhaust staining and stuff on the bottom um, hydraulic leaks and whatnot for the landing gear the top the green it's going to look like the gray color stuck the green didn't so I'm just going to weather the green um, and then, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. So stick around. Uh, you guys have seen it up till now. And from here on out, you'll get to see the salt weathering technique. Um, and depending on when it gets out, uh, somewhere at the top, I'm going to have a link to, uh, right about now, I'll put it up, um, the a link to the uh, tips and tricks on the salt weathering technique. So you guys will actually get a real good look on how that works. And uh, if you guys are interested in trying it out for yourself, uh, you can click on that link and take a look. If it's not up there yet, it will be up there as soon as I get that video uploaded. I'm not sure when this will be uploaded and when that will be uploaded. But if you see the link at the top that says, you know, click here, click on it, take a look at how the, uh, how I do the salt technique in depth, and uh, you guys can try it out for yourself. So there we go. Update on the zero. Stick around. Final painting and some really, really cool weathering. So here I start the process of the salt weathering. Um, I will have a tips and tricks video uh, for this uh, up at some point. I have all the shots. Uh, I use this as my um, um, as the, uh, the the piece I use for the filming of that that tips and tricks video. So that will be going up at some point. Uh, so keep your eye out on that if it isn't up already. Um, but um, yeah, so this is how I do it. I just put a bit of water on the wing, sprinkle the salt, let it dry, paint the camouflage, and then as you wipe that uh, top coat paint off. It, it uh, scrapes away the paint and you get to see uh, that silver undercoating come through.
And here I am masking for the yellow uh, stripes on the leading edge of the wings. I completely forgot about those until this stage of the build, so I realized I had to get that done uh, before I could really do the decals. Um, and as you'll see here, I just mask it off with standard masking tape, but I picked up a new technique, uh, which I haven't talked about before, which you'll see here. Um, I actually use Glad uh, 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 Press and Seal, uh, the stuff you use to cover your leftover dinner or whatever. I actually start using that to help mask um, around uh, the, uh, the, the area I'm painting. And it, it's a lot cheaper than using masking tape. Um, and it isn't as sticky as masking tape, so there's less chance of it pulling uh, paint or decals off the model. And uh, it's very easy to cut and press as you need, and it is super happy, and I love it. And uh, I just wanted to get that out there, that yeah, use press and seal as a masking material. I'm probably gonna do a tips and tricks video on this just to uh, really show people how easy it is uh, to use. Okay, so here we are, quick uh, build update on the Zero. Um, if you have been watching the video up till now, you would have seen uh, that the aircraft has been gloss coated. So it is effectively ready to go um, with, for decals. Um, so I did that salt weathering technique to get the paint chipping. It left a little bit of residue um, on on the surface, just a little bit of a rough residue. I'm hoping that will go away once I um, once I flat coat it and get some weathering, and all of it will blend and will look uh, will look okay. Uh, the engine has it's not glued on yet, but it is painted up, ready to go, and I just finished gloss coating part of the cowling. I only gloss coated the upper half of the cowling. Uh, there's some decals that need to go on the top of the cowling, and I'm trying to get a color differential between the two halves uh, just to make it look like part of it is new and part of it is used. Uh, so I'm going with a, uh, if I gloss coat that, it's going to change the black just slightly, and then when I flat coat that, hopefully um, it will show up uh, a little bit in terms of the color differential. And with the prop, I just glossed the um, blades as it's going to have um, some decals on the blades and then once you flat coat that it will disappear but that is where this stands um, it is effectively ready to go for the decal process and then some weathering and then I will give the whole thing a shot of flat coat uh, the other thing I have not done yet is I have not painted the canopy the center section of the canopy um, I'd always plan to paint it later in the process um, just to save me the time and, and you know keep me going I think I think I might paint it silver. Instead of doing a black interior and the green exterior the way the cockpit should be painted, um, I feel like I'm just going to paint the thing silver and leave it as if the, you know, it was a replacement canopy that was put onto it. So it's going to have like a replacement cowl, a replacement canopy, you know, look like the aircraft has been used and abused and bits and pieces have been mixed and matched as time went on uh, to, uh, to keep it going in the air. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Uh, but that's the process, so stay tuned and we will get some decals done.
So here we are, a quick update on um, the uh, the Zero. Um, so, I, as I'm sure you've seen, the decals are on. The gloss coat is done. Um, a lot of the little details have been taken care of. Things like I've got the, uh, the landing gears painted black. The drop tank has been painted and glossed. Uh, and that is about 90-odd percent of what needs to be done on this. Um, so I am working on, I want to be weathering next. The next step is going to be uh, weathering this thing. I've got the black wash already made up. So I'm just going to start working my way around it, uh, giving it all that black panel wash. Uh, probably give, you know what, I don't think I'm the engine, but the uh, the landing gear bay as well. We'll get a bit, of a, a bit more hit with some of this stuff. Uh, and then just give this a nice good uh, once over with this black wash. Once the black wash is done, I'm going to take those Vallejo weathering effects uh, give it a little bit of looking like, you know, oil leaks and stuff coming out of different spots. And then uh, a little bit of exhaust staining down the side. And then I'll be pretty much done. Flat coat, fiddly bits, and she will be finished. Um, I've still got it. some minor things I still have to take care of. Uh, these two, um, i got something to point with. Uh, there's two panels underneath the cowling here. Uh, that are still pl uh, green, bare plastic. I haven't uh, painted those yet. Uh, but I'll just paint them flat black by hand. Uh, just before I do the final weathering. And uh, some other little things. A tail wheel. Tail wheel I have here. I haven't even painted it yet. I'll paint it by hand. Uh, and glue it on at the end. Um, the uh, the canopy. There's an antenna that comes through the canopy here. That I will also um, glue in at the end. Paint by hand. Um, and then the canopy itself. As I said. I think I'm going to go in a bit of a different direction with this canopy. I want to paint it silver. Like aluminum basically. So it looks like the canopy is a replacement canopy that was put on the airframe. So uh, hopefully like I said with some of this paint shipping only happening. And hopefully there will be a bit of a different color black between these two cowlings. It will come across as if like, you know, a lower cowling was replaced and a canopy was replaced. And you know things like that. So I'm trying to go for that look. Um, See, make it look like you know it had been you know battle damaged and repaired or something like that. So that's the look I'm going for. But either way, next step on this will be um, some uh, some weathering.
here I'm using some of those Vallejo weathering effects. Um, I used them a little bit in the previous builds using the on the 172nd scale uh, F18 commission build. Uh, but I am using them here. I've got uh, sort of a, a dirty rusty color and like an oil stain color. And I'm using those to just make uh, make it look like there's been some leaking, uh, some leaking, some fuel stains, some oil stains, some leakage, uh, you know, especially around the drop tank, the landing gear, um, that kind of thing, just to give it a, a little bit more of a weathered, varied look to the paint scheme. And here I'm masking that uh, main canopy part. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be doing it in a silver aluminum color, just to give it a bit of a different look, making it look like it was a replacement canopy. So um, I've managed to get this far in the build without having to worry about it. Uh, but as I'm nearing the end, I needed to mask off and get that painted.
here we are folks, the uh, the Zero is completed. I'm going to show you a quick look at the model now. So this is um, the finished product. Uh, as you can see, it turned out looking uh, really good, very happy with everything. Um, little, little bit of, you know, uh, things here and there. I'm not going to go into necessarily discussing what I did that I don't like about it. There are a few things I wish turned out a little bit differently on this, but I mean, all models do. But overall, very happy with how this turned out. It looks great, and uh, we'll uh, we'll finish this off with a uh, a little bit of uh, some pictures of this uh, from the uh, final photo shoot that I did. So there you go, uh, 148 scale Tamiya Zero. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching guys and as always if you are interested in any of the content you see you can access my website at www.shawns-aviation.com uh, you can see all the uh, latest pictures of aircraft and museums and the build logs of all of my current models and past models on that site and if you're interested in any of this content uh, please click the subscribe button here on uh, youtube to follow more thank you very much and see you guys next time